with another unboxing. This is another helicopter. Um, I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing these helicopters, but uh, the reason why I uh, got this one is because it was really, really cheap. And yeah, that's why, because it was cheap and I was looking for a helicopter and uh, this one was for sale for $45. And I believe with taxes, it came out to $50, $50 flat. So I, so I bought it. it. Took a while to get here. It was not no uh, two-day shipping stuff, nothing like that. Letting me know my receipt, and uh, here's the actual product itself. All right, that back into view. So we'll go ahead and take a quick peek at this here at this here box so we got the FX069 4 channel still got a fly bar just one propeller instead of two so it's not coaxial or I'm saying that right 4 channel indoor outdoor chargeable battery 3D flying which is probably lying it is lying this thing cannot fly upside down. I'm not sure if 3D flying just means you get to move all angles. Like this stick right here moving every way. Like you know not just up and down. But always. Maybe that's that's uh, what they count as 3D. Because I see some of the SEMAs saying the same thing. That they're 3D. And I thought a 3D helicopter was a helicopter that went upside down and stuff. And does tricks. That's what I thought a 3D helicopter was. So this is it. Comes in a little decent box. So far it looks okay. I can find out where to open it from. Right here. So let's go ahead and open this. So it's a 4 channel helicopter for $45. And with tax. Built in gyroscope. 2.4 gigahertz. Yep, so let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, so here's what we got. We got our nice little charger here. Let's go ahead and lift up this tape here. Pull it out. Feels absolutely cheap as hell. Beyond cheap, so I better be careful with this thing. It only uses one amp. It has no, um, it doesn't tell you anything. So I wouldn't put this into the latest Galaxy or iPhone. I would put it into an older, um, something that's maybe 500 MA or just, just, uh, the typical one amp. Or if you can find one that's 500 MA, you can charge it that way better. So I'll go ahead and take that off. It's quite a take this guy out of here how am I supposed to get this out there we go comes out through the back and you can see this thing's pretty massive I'm, ta I'm taking off all the styrofoam guys High speed, low speed. These are nothing. We got six batteries for this thing. Our antenna. And I believe this is a clone transmitter of a real uh, transmitter. It's a clone of it. So here's your batteries, which will give it a nice good weight. Doesn't feel too cheap. 
it feels okay it doesn't feel that bad we got all of our trims not bad 3d right here it says we got a little light indicator LED voltage indicator on and off you can hang it on on your shirt or a lanyard not too bad so let's go on to the next and it does have this too in the back so you can hold it and now let's go ahead and take out this little tiny helicopter oh we got it locked in over here see it just twist it so I don't need to cut it or anything come on man sometimes these things want to be a pain in the butt alright Wrapped around this pretty good. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, yesterday, guys, when I was trying the other helicopter, the Sky Rover Phoenix, something happened to it. I couldn't get get it to fly anymore. Correct. It just kept flying and it kept doing this. It wouldn't even let it lift because it's such a heavy helicopter. And uh, it wouldn't let it lift, so it was just spinning in a circle like this. I think the rear motor went out or something because it was messed up when I purchased it. So uh, I think that little guy is going to go back. I talked to the seller. He said it, it must have been a bad one. So uh, he's going to refund my money. I tried to fix it. I gave it back to him. I put it all back in the box, gave it back. I believe that helicopter is... Uh, problematic even if I didn't buy it on eBay when I opened it up it only has a 130 motor in it to fly the entire helicopter of 130 and it's not even a good 130 motor so it's not gonna fly very good it's going to do this up and down up and down because the motor doesn't have very much power so I got rid of it uh, maybe I'll get it again in the future, but from some place better. Maybe from Walmart itself, so the battery's good and I could play for it, play with it for a little while. But it is definitely not a good helicopter. I opened it when I looked at it. I couldn't believe that it had such a tiny motor. Who says let's make a let's make a helicopter 20 inch and then let's put the smallest motor known to mankind in it. Stupid company. I really. Um, they really flaked on that one so we got our battery little ESC in there hmm yeah battery looks fine doesn't look swollen or anything I thought at first it was but it's not it looks pretty good your antenna servos I guess right here These blades feel really cheap. Maybe I can put some different ones on there. It doesn't feel too bad though. For 45 bucks, it's not that bad. Considering if I seen this somewhere in somewhere else, they probably want like 80 bucks for it or something. Because you know how our world is. Our money isn't worth anything because those guys keep printing it. That's why. So now the dollar is worth only like, it's not worth a dollar, it's only worth like 60 cents in another country. Because our dollar's not the right value because those guys keep printing it. Let's see if it turns on. I guess I'll just put this inside it. it kind of just goes in like this. I don't see or hear anything. Hmm. So I gotta charge this little guy up and um, we'll go from there. Do an indoor flight on it and I'm still waiting for the proper day to do an outside flight on all these helicopters. 
but uh there i'm only buying one more helicopter and then that's it i'm going back to ground vehicles later on in the future i will go for a bigger drone that is professional drone not no big one but a decent one and then we'll go back to rc cars again and then in the future if if they sell um hyperkin came up with this little tiny box it's like a little cube and it has an hdmi on it and it plays game boy uh game boy uh, advance games it plays it basically all game boy games and it connects to your TV and it looks really sweet and I was really waiting for it. I'm, I really would love to play my uh, my games on TVs. You do know how many sweet games are on the Game Boy Advance? Man, some of the best games are on there and it's 32 bits and that's what I love about it, you know? So I, I'm really hoping that console comes out because when it does, I will buy it. I don't care if I have to pay 100 bucks or it i will pay for it and i will have it here on this channel so i'm waiting for that to come out plus plus i have also seen a nintendo 64 clone that is ready to be released soon so i'm waiting on that and i believe hyperkin is doing that as well i think so i'm waiting for those consoles and then i'll go back into some gaming as well and then we'll go but for now we're gonna do a little bit of these helicopters i got one more so bear with me if you can't stand them. And then we'll go back to ground vehicles. And then I'll go to a drone. And then we'll go to video games. So it'll just keep coming, you know. So I'm going to charge this up. And I'll be back with a flight video as soon as I get some batteries and everything in this thing. So not bad. You get this for, 50, for $45, $50 basically. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the other one, the other helicopter, which is the other hobby grade one by Horizon. So let's, let's, let me grab that one. All right, so here's the Blade 70S right here. And uh, I'll put them side by side. Here's the transmitter. I like this one still a little more. I love that metal. It kind of looks real, like a real hobby grade one. And it's got a little LCD screen right here. So that's awesome. Cheap, but cool. So you got your two transmitters here for the 70S. And then we'll go ahead and compare them in size. You can see the 70S is, is bigger and longer as well. It, they almost look like each other. It's like a little clone of it or something. So they're not the same length either. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get this charged up, guys, and make sure it works. And then I'll be back with a flight video. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching.